Beautiful day in the sun, um, but we are at one of those, just a few meters away from the Kaiser Chiefs village. Just take us through this program. Why are we here and what is this all about? Well, very exciting program to be here and, and, and initiating with the twinning project who twin clubs with uh, uh, correctional facilities to try and rehabilitate and really share footballing skills with inmates who will be coming out and can be provided with skills that they can come back and use in the community just to empower them using the power of football, using the power of sport to change lives and to be responsible citizens in society. Then what does, what does it say to a, a, an inmate that has been incarcerated for such a long time and for, for, for them actually to be, um, you know, match branded with this uh, big club, Kaiser Chiefs, and for you as Kaiser Chiefs, is this part of your CSI and giving back to the community? Certainly a big part of our CSI for Kaiser Chiefs and the Kaiser Chiefs Foundation. And as we saw, corrections is a, a responsibility of all of society and we are playing our role. And what does it say to the inmates is that uh, we all make mistakes, but once you've uh, been rehabilitated and uh, are doing the the programs within the facility. Chiefs is one of the brands that's saying we have a, a program and a project that is there to help you. You know, through our sporting uh, uh, space, we are able to give you something that allows you to get some skills and go back into the community. And for us, it was important to say, can we work with female coaches? female inmates who have the ability to go and learn coaching and make a difference in their lives because a lot of the time many of, pro many of these programs are done with men and we wanted to start with women and say it's important that they are skilled and you see coach Desiree here supporting the initiative to say can we upskill women more. One of the questions that we will be facing I know. you know is that mm. Kaiser Chiefs does not even have a women's mm. team but they are going into this. Where does that leave you as Kaiser Chiefs? Well, it's part of our grassroots program and doing that, you know. Uh, building a team is about going from the ground up. You know, we have other initiatives on the ground that we'll be doing. And certainly that is a project we are working and will continue to work with. And today is testament to the fact that we are putting a, a stake in the ground and saying women's football is important to us. And we're partnering with different people to make sure that that happens. And what do you see the future of women football like in, in general? Well, I think there's a lot of work to be done. I, I'm, I'm still discouraged. I mean, I see uh, that there's too much of a focus only at the national level. So definitely a lot of work to be done. The future of women's football has great potential. I've just come back uh, from, from uh, the UK, just seeing how the clubs are working there. Uh, I, I just know there is a lot of hope for us, but I think there's a lot of collaboration that needs to be done at a corporate level because it needs corporate sponsorships at a, a grassroots level in terms of uh, making sure there's facilities available that suit women. Not men that suit women, you know, that's also very important. So I think there's, there's a great future for women's football, but it requires a lot of collaboration. And I think it's a daunting task, you know, it is a daunting task. I've seen it, and I think we're going to have to bite the animal one, one bite at a time. So what are some of the challenges that you face in terms of, I mean, you've spoken like, uh, maybe two years ago about uh, starting a women's team. What are some of the challenges that you've faced in terms of... Um, working towards that uh, goal? Well, I think there are many challenges. It's obviously the infrastructural challenges, uh, investment challenges. A lot of people are willing to invest at the high level, but not willing to invest in the building and building the foundation of women's football. There are sponsors, I must say, who've done a great job in making sure they invest. Uh, the challenges around uh, 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 what you call the, 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 the broadness and the needs across the, across the board. I mean, I, I had some young women coming to the village talking about just basic, basic needs. Also, not a clear understanding of what, what the women need versus what men need, you know, and I think that's the challenge that women's football has just been lumped in uh, with, with how the men's game has been put together. So it's really building the women's game for the women's game for the African women as well. That's important. But surely this augurs well with your position within the CAF space, having, having to take care of um, women's football. How much of this adds to your portfolio then? Well, it, 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 it certainly adds uh, and gives me an, a, a lot of learnings and also uh, profiles the importance of, of women's football, you know. And I'm excited. I mean, we just had a, a women's football uh, committee meeting with uh, the president of CAF uh, last week. Uh, and we discussed some of the things that we'll be doing and our vision to really continue. Uh, and commit ourselves to, to the task at hand. Um, just, you know, you speak about um, excitement and uh, there also just seems to be a lot of excitement amongst the Chiefs fans uh, just with the appointment of Coach Nabi, the, 
the work that you guys have done in the transfer markets. Is that also just uh, the sense even at the village and even amongst management that um, exciting times could be ahead as well? No, definitely. It's uh, definitely exciting times. You could see it from uh, our tour in Turkey and just all the build up, the players that we've signed, the new technical team. There's definitely a, a, a real, real new resurgence. You know, I'd say to our supporters, it's about us working together collectively now, supporting each other through this journey, building a really solid foundation with where the club is going, but excited by the changes, excited by even our young Blom coming back home, you know, but excited that there's a real revival around the village right now. Uh, talking about revival, Jessica, as from the marketing perspective and the team perspective, because if the team does well, the marketing goes even much better. Are you happy the way the team is being restructured going forward? From the I'm team definitely team happy that uh, the team is restructured and I'm supporting all the restructuring. I mean, I'm part of the board and making sure that uh, the investments are being made to, to make sure that the team is restructured. But I think we need to give it time. I'm also excited that there's changes within the league and that we've launched a new uh, league sponsor. I think that's critical uh, in taking the league forward. I'd like to see other changes happening at the league and the growth of our football and our game uh, in the industry uh, going to another level. The renewed um, vibe from in, and hope from the Kaiser Chiefs people, I mean your fans are all over the place, some of them are saying give us the league already, <laughs> this year we're taking this, we're taking that. From you as a marketing, following up to what uh, Benjamin asked you, how difficult has it been to market a team that had no hope at all from the stands in terms of the fans and going forward what is it that they can expect look uh, there are challenges and difficulties in every position even in the marketing space but certainly the passion of our supporters is there and you're saying it yourself you know and i think for me we're committed to making sure that our supporters work together with us and that's why i say to them come to all the games we're always home support the team because it's together that we're going to achieve the success you had the Toyota Stadium, finally, you had the Toyota Stadium to open up your league campaign against Maruno Galanz. It's a special way for Bloemfontein to be reintroduced to league football. Just how excited are you there? She can answer this question that said, time is not on their side. No, it's no but the side. Sir, no, it's, no, it's only fair that she finishes yeah, this, yeah, then she'll move that side. Question. She's finished now. Very excited for our first team against Maruma Gallants in uh, the Toyota Stadium. You saw the energy when we uh, were in Bloemfontein for the Toyota Cup. I want to see that same energy. I'm saying to our supporters, they must come and make the league opening game a real success. Always home. I'm a cozy for life. Okay, thank you guys. Just remember sending up. For support, yeah. Hey, hey. Mm. Ne? Okay. But she can't look down it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll look in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm rolling with the center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the center. All right, let, let me start shooting. Just an, an important occasion for, 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 for women's inmates, correctional services, and case chiefs to embark on this. Uh, a wonderful initiative? Well, you know, the, as they said in, in the formalities, corrections is a societal issue. And we as Kaiser Chiefs felt it's important. What an initiative for us to come and empower these inmates who are being rehabilitated, being part of a program to say we can make a difference in their lives and to use what we have, football, which changes lives. Uh, it's just incredible for us. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people may be saying, you know, you're doing something for women's football, but we, and yet you don't have a women's football team. Um, you know, previously you've said that you want to start a women's team, but you've had challenges. Involve yourself in a sporting code. In this instance, it is soccer. Secondly, um, they are going to get an opportunity now uh, to interact with other offenders and coach them. Uh, on soccer or on playing soccer and then thirdly as we reintegrate them back into their communities they are going to impart the knowledge that they have learned the, uh, the skills that they have developed from a correctional setting to the community as they, they 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 get back to the community some of them will even start soccer clubs ladies soccer club uh, and the, and we all know that there is a, a, a strong drive to uh, grow uh, ladies uh, soccer internationally, so they will have an opportunity to participate in that drive. Yeah. And, uh, maybe just um, a brand like Kaiser Chiefs um, coming on board, I'm sure that must also be good. Well, that's prestigious, but also what is important is it underlines um, the, the fact that 
big brands in South Africa and a brand like Kaiser Chiefs has seen the importance of contributing to fighting crime. Because if you have an offender that is in our care, who gets to be exposed to this program by Kaiser Chiefs and the FIFA Foundation, that offender has a zero chance of going back to the life of crime. Just the association with a, 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 a big brand like Kaiser Chiefs makes an offender thinks better and plan better for the future. Commissioner, is this a, is this a, a Johannesburg Correctional Services matter or is it going to be rolled out nationally looking at its, its success, if it has success, or its failures, if it will have failures? We launched this program in, uh, at Khoshumampur, which is obviously your Pretoria, Tswane, you know, area, uh, with another uh, soccer club. Today we are rolling it out to Johannesburg. We're going to continue. We are working together with the FIFA Foundation uh, Twinning Project. Um, we are targeting uh, the clubs that are in the Premier League and we also do not exclude those that are not in the Premier League. So wherever we are having um, correctional facilities, uh, remember we have more than 240 correctional facilities. We have uh, more than 40 management areas. So you can imagine the space that we are going to continue playing in, in growing this program. So if, you, if, you, if you're looking around, I mean, there are people from SAFA as well, the coach is here, um, the deputy president is here. What does it mean to have them here endorsing this program? We've been having a partnership with SAFA for, for, uh, yeah, for quite some time. Uh, because remember, um, in as much as we are doing this project, the um, offenders have, have uh, soccer clubs that we are encouraging, uh, uh, that we are uh, making the point that continue to be active. And in doing that work, we get SAFA to assist us with uh, uh, workshops, training sessions, and all that. So for us, it's, it's a continuation. Actually, it's um, growing the partnership even further. And uh, yes, we are humbled to be associated with, uh, with SAFA as the Department of Correctional Services. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, but from Tech Stop. Sis Mandisa, um, thank you for your time. Silape Sun City, um, you guys have got an opportunity everyone. You've got Kaiser Chiefs here on this twinning program with you. First and foremost, I would like to thank the TCS. I would like to thank Kaiser Chiefs. I would like to thank FIFA Foundation and all stakeholders involved. I'm very grateful and honored to be given this opportunity. So, Gushuk Tingu will be introduced into this football environment, especially if you can let us know, are you a football person? Is it something that you've got interest in? Iksizangan when I'm about one of the inmates. In football, I love it from Ekaya, as my father has been a Kaiser Chiefs fan. And um, so I grew up in that family, a football, whereby each and every match we watch Ekaya. So um, I'm a fan of Kaiser Chiefs and I'm actually planning also now as we have been given this opportunity to become a member and become Kosi for life. So, <laughs> so um, this program, it provides, a, it's actually a powerful program that brings, a, that will bring changes and it will actually change lives. It will actually provide hope for us as inmates and it will also provide and create opportunities for us in, as, in, as, in, in, as inmates. Personally, looking at yourself, um, starting from today going on, or so maybe let's say from the time when they told you which will be part of this program, and how much does it prepare you for the world outside? Is it something that you're looking at you taking out and making sure which you take it further? It will actually um, bring a positive contribution into my life and not only into my life. The, posit the, the positive contribution that it brings to us as inmates will also take it out of prison and also take it out to our communities. So um, um, it's a big uh, uh, opportunity as um, it's also uh, providing a, um, a rehabilitation program uh, to us as inmates. 
and uh, maybe just um, I don't know how much of, of the team you, you can follow from, from inside of here but the team hasn't been doing very well and like you say with you are a Kwasi for life just maybe how how have you felt about like how the team has been performing the team has not been doing well but I still have hope and now that uh, the team is now involved with us and it will have that thing yeah more numbers that thing that thing <laughs> It will have that thing. So from now onwards, let us expect a good and better results from the team. And what's like the following of the team inside, just like the facility? Like as you can supporters. see on the yes, as you can see on the outcome and the participation of the inmates, that can only tell that the team has supported us, especially from inside. And uh, we have also, like me now personally. I have um, started embarking on being a Kaiser Chiefs ambassador just out of my own. So I'm doing it from inside and I can tell that the support and the participation is very positive. So we are going bigger and better from now onwards from uh, aiding up on the Kaiser Chiefs fans. Maybe just to go back, I'm not sure if you just asked, um, do you play football here? How are the football programs? Oh, like I said um, earlier on, that we haven't been given the opportunity. This is our first opportunity, and we are very grateful, honored to be given this opportunity. It's actually our first, and we're very excited about it. Next to you, Coach Desiree, is internationally known. I'm very humble. I'm very humble. It's an honor, like I said. And it's also a privilege to us as inmates because from inside we don't normally get such opportunities. And I feel like going and jump on her right now. <laughs> That's how excited I am. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Good luck. Eh? Thank you.